get dead fresh on a nigga. Still, I step on a nigga. Super fly, ain't no regular nigga. Dove off, that's the medicine in it. I never ever tell him a nigga. I'm on another level, my nigga. It's DJ Chuck Spins. K Rock had pulled up on me, came to get an interview in. You feel me? He got his brother with him. What's up with y'all? Cool. What is that? Shit. Let's get, let's get straight to it. You feel me? Uh, K Rock 103. Where do the name K Rock 103 come from? Shit, man. my first name Kyle, for real. I know I just be rocking shit for real about the hate, you feel me? So, yeah, that's how I roll, you feel me? I just put that in that. Then the 103 came from the Jeezy CD. You remember that year came here and tickets for 103? Oh, I ain't shit. caught one of them bitches, but shit. <laughs> that just gave me motivation, you feel me? So, so is it safe to say like you're like a big Jeezy fan? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, cool though, for real. I fuck with your shit. For the most part, though, I fuck with me, you know? Mm -hmm. Money bag, yo, that old guy shit, back right. to the basics, that type shit for real, you feel me? Shit, that was, well, right now you like one of the hottest comedians or however, like however the proper term is said, you one of the hottest of doing what you're doing right now, you feel me? So how long have you been like a comedian? All my life, you feel me, but I just didn't bring it to the internet because this nigga had other shit going on for real, so nigga really couldn't entertain the internet at that time. But when I found the time, I just took off with that shit. So, so what got you like started like doing videos? My homeboy Artez and shit. Yo, it was like, you might have started doing videos. You're really funny and shit. You've been funny since back in the day. So that's when I was like, fuck, I just dropped the video. I right? said so that. I just kept dropping them and dropping them. Uh, all right, so, so was it just like, did you always plan to like, um, do stand up or was it just you like I'm gonna just strictly do videos? We talking about years ago, we're not talking about like right at this moment. At first, I didn't like stand up. Uh huh. Like even if I were watching on TV, I wouldn't pay this shit no mind. So like, but now it's like to get a get a a different crowd, also get more people entertained to me. So I, I went stand up. I'm good at that shit. You feel know I me? Mean? I'm working on getting better at right now too. Um, in, in the, like, comedy game, you feel me? You got your Bernie Max, you feel me? Right. Yeah, uh, fucking whoever else. Who is, like, one of, like, your favorite, like, comedians in, like, in the game right now or before? Uh, I watch shit. I watch my, I watch Martin. Mm -hmm. I watch Bernie Mac. I watch Mike Epps, you know, um, Kevin Hart, he cool too, but like, I really fuck with the older ones, you know, older ones who like Martin and them era who was really talking that real shit. Right. So, so is it like, is it like safe to say like you like more of like a fan of like the untamed comedy? Yeah. Than like the, Cause I, I see a lot of comedians say it's hard to not say, you feel me, want to say what they want and they just can't cause they trying to think about other people. So like, where would you rather do comedy at right now? Like as you're doing it right now or before like in the past? Right now, right now, my time. You feel me? I can't speak on the past. You feel me? All right. right here, right now. I mean, me. your flow definitely. You feel me? How you do it definitely would fit into you feel me? Because it's, it's untamed. It's not. Right. You feel me? What what people say? Like what I say probably came back then when like Martin was doing the fuck they wanted to do up there on the stage. There's no chill. They had no sense. Of, like they just was going off. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> like, but now it's like people are like tanked and try to you feel me fit in. I don't feel like that's like your comedy style. No, I so, don't know. like, did you feel? Cause I actually did see you like doing stand up like in the summer. Mm -hmm. I was DJing like a comedy show. Did you feel like you could go and do stand up and just say like whatever you want, or like like come with the niggas and the bitches and the pussies and the faggots and shit like that for real? Or you had to, you wanted to come and do what everybody think is comedy right now? I'm gonna do what I think is comedy. Either they gonna feel it or they not. What, what kind of com what kind of comic do you like feel that you are like? My shit real. I ain't no telling what I'm gonna say. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't no telling. Like I'm gonna say what I want. You know what I mean? But I, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be here to offend nobody. But if they get offended, they just gotta go home because it's a comedy show. So like, how many comedy shows right now are like you in? Like, how many have you think, think you've done so far? The first one I did, the first stand up I did, I, did, I was like. I did a whole album straight. I just remember one. Dang. I did one with Cool Ant. I did two on. Matter of fact, I did two on with Cool Ant. Trap Comedy, Bruce Dan Snow. I did one with them. And then I had um did open mics. So far, like real. Sh and I did one for my birthday. You feel me? That was a big one for me. I did like so. Then like three hundred tickets for. That was the biggest one for me. 
They probably like six or seven shows. Seven shows, I'm say that. When you when you got up there in the beginning, did you feel comfortable or like I know I know it's kind of hard to say like did you feel comfortable? Some people like been funny all their life might feel comfortable. Did you like feel? Yeah, comfortable? I was cool. I was cool. I was like about what I was good. You know, my life was being like a motherfucking woman, but I was cool. If I was with the jokes and shit, like you know, I relate to the struggle, you know. Uh, are like do you like could you see like what you do now? Like could you see you taking it other places? Like not not just like Baltimore, cause no Baltimore you gonna feel comfortable, but like yeah, I do. Cause a lot of people, other places reach out to me on Instagram, you know, tell like boy you come here, they love that shit, this that and third. I just gotta you know get my shit to all the way go west though, you know, get bigger, bigger, grow more, so I'll be able to go different places, you know. Uh, let's talk about like your first comedy show for real. Mm -hmm. Did was it like like I've talked to other comics? They say if I mean it's not hard to go up there. You might go up there and you might do it, but you might not get no laughs. So like like keep it hundred. Like, your first comedy show, did you get like laughs or was like I got uh, laughs? That ain't funny. No, I ain't go through that first time. No. Have you have you ever experienced that? Hell yeah, I don't want places motherfuckers barely laugh. Hell yeah, one time with these old ass motherfucking people. You can make an old person laugh. You 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 mean you get what I'm saying? Like huh. like I would say a joke, they would laugh. Next joke, they probably wouldn't. They wouldn't laugh. The next joke, then they would laugh. You get what I'm saying? Cause I, you gotta reach out to them far as them. You know them old motherfuckers. They wanna get fucked. You feel I me? Mean? They gonna reach out. They like that shit. And they they get tired of waiting up to their same motherfucking husband. Shit like that, you feel me? That they can in the act with, and they understand what you get. What I'm saying? So the old, the toughest crowd I had probably was them old people. I ain't gonna lie. Who, who else? Who else is it like a, like a salute type like stuff that you might see in Baltimore? Like, like I salute yo, yo was tough. You feel me? Since you did a few shows, like who? Falls what? Falls stand up? Yeah, stand up. Oh, you feel me? It could be. It could be the social media because that's where it started. At. Like falls like on the, on a comedy tip. Yeah. Um. G song, it was tough, you know. Who did his thing? You know, shit. Other motherfuckers did their thing, you feel me? I ain't gonna say scream all their names, you know, but right. you know what it is, you know. If I fuck one of my fuck one, they know they shouldn't mean, you know. Do, do you do like collaborations with the um with the comedy or the videos? I mean, some dudes, but most of the time I roll by myself, you know what I mean? Keep my man with me, he gonna do it. He roll with me on the video tip too, you feel me? So, so, so it's like the passenger or the driver or whatever you might not see in a video? What you mean? Like, like he might be with you in a... In a, in a well, with me, like, it ain't no set time, oh, yeah. ain't nothing put together, how it comes like what it is. <laughs> so, so where, do, where do you get, like, your bits from? Like, you feel me? One of my favorites is the pulling up to the restaurants and... and you feel me? You ask her for Wendy or you ask her for Sarah and be like, yeah, well, that bitch actually burned me. Like, where, where do you get, like, that inspiration for stuff like I that? I was from? doing that shit in, like, middle school. <laughs> 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 I've been doing that shit for, like, for real. So, like, yeah, be a whole crowd of people walking in, nigga, get the screen right now. Hey, that's that bitch that burned me, like, out of nowhere. Like, that nigga been doing that shit for real. So, that's how that shit worked, bro. That shit been there, but my man all tastes like, you about to start. Saying that, start saying that again. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Then I just start pulling up to the well, first try. I pulled up to the to the um to the motherfucking um drive through. I was like, man, Ash in there. I thought Ash, cause Ash is a very common name, mm -hmm. just like Brittany. That's a common name. Mm -hmm. Jasmine, common name, but Ashley just stuck out more. It's Cause think about it, you got a lot of people that name Ashley. So got somebody named Ashley. Some, somebody really might be that name Ashley. <laughs> yep. I scrape going up. Bitch, I met Ash in there. They were like, what? I said, it's Ashley in there. She fucking burnt me. She stole my last fucking 15 hours. I know she in there because I dropped her off there. That, that, that's, that'll fuck your head up when my <laughs> come up in your job see some shit like that. Do the drive through. You ain't been expecting no shit like that. No, that's not. I wouldn't shit. I'd have been like, what the fuck you talking about? Like, hold on. Who the fuck is Ashley? Like, type, type stuff like that. So, I, no. So, all right. I also see you with, like, you feel me? I would say fictional characters or. Or they real people, but like, first, like, all right, you got Bone Juice right. and you got Dennis. Right. They like the OGs from what I've seen. Right. Or when I first got on to you, like, so where did they come from? Or who is they? All right, like, Bone Juice, you live up the street from me. And the first day I met Bone Juice, he was cutting a nigga, he was helping a man cut grass and shit. And I guess a nigga ain't paying whatever. 
Juice told me, Bone Juice told me that the nigga ain't paying the whole time. Bone Juice stopped fucking working, so what the fuck, what the fuck was the man supposed to give you? So then he was asking somebody for a dollar, like, man, don't ask somebody for nothing, man, I got you. You feel me? I looked out for him, alright, since then, yo just, we just took on to each other, yo just was rolling with me, alright, since then. Is it, is it like crazy, like, alright, like, is he like the neighborhood, like, Yeah, he live up the street from me. So, so like, is it, is it like, is it crazy riding around with him, or people just like, oh, they go K-Rock with Bone Juice? Yeah, I don't know, like, it ain't crazy for real, you know, like, no, like, it's my man. Yo, brother, just like us, bro. He just went through something we didn't go through, you know? I'm all right. So, like, yeah, I treat them all equal, you know? Like, yeah, that's my man. Like, when they see us out, though, they definitely show love no matter where we at. Shit, and uh, what about Dennis? Where did Dennis come oh, from? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, Dennis come from, um, same type shit, same situation. But Bone Juice situation was totally different. Bone Juice lived with his family. Right. Dennis don't have a family. So... Dennis kept asking people who walked past, hey, sir, can you help me? Can you help me? Everybody was like, nah, like, man, nah, like, just bitching him for a car. And so I was like, yo, come in. I tell him, come in. I'm like, man, what you need? He's like, I just need two or three dollars. I'm just trying to get some cigarettes. I give it to him. I said, yo, don't ask nobody else for nothing, you know? As long as I got you, got to make sure you're all right. Then I looked at his shoes and shit. His shoes were toasted. I gave him a pair of airs, a pair of blue and white air forces. And like that, we just locked straight in. Do, do you, like... Was it hard for them to know, like, or do they even know, like, what you do with the videos? Or they just be like, or oh, they don't know what's going on at all, you know me? No, like, that, now they know. Like, at first, they ain't know about the videos and shit, for real. Like, but now they know, like, and they love that shit. Like, Dennis go to the hospital. Then the first thing they just say, hey, you don't know me? I'm Dennis. I'm famous. I do comedy with K-Rock. Like, <laughs> and Juice. Yo, um... Juice like, yeah, man, um, like, everybody know Juice off. First they say, what's up, Juice? Like, what's up, well? <laughs> you feel me? Like, yeah, they like, you know, like, uh, K he said, Kyle, because most people, he don't know me as k Rock. He called me Kyle, like, yeah, that's my brother. Like, so, yeah, that's my, they my family, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. If I blow, they blow, you know? Fuck, if, when I blow, they won't <laughs> blow with me, you feel me? I ain't gonna forget about them. So, so have like they fell back? Like I haven't seen like have they fell back from the videos or you just no, like, looking I got, to do more bits? Like I got shit. What am I just didn't drop it? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And also, um, Dennis he stayed with he stayed with somebody else now, and so like he called me every chance he can get. But right now, like the people be on his ass. Like they don't want you know what I mean they don't want him around me and shit. Like the fuck I ain't the one. I was looking out for him before they even fucking met him. And the, the man called me the other day, asked me for money, talking about he ain't, he get a check, but I don't know what the fuck going on with the check. Because he ain't never got no fucking money. And I just had seen you, like, introduce, like, a new character. Because I, I feel like they all, like, characters in, like, the K-Rock story. Right. Uh, Smizzy. Oh, Smizzy? Yeah. Yeah, her with the coffee. Is yeah, she gangsta. from him? She from Bronx. Okay, you can hear it, because she be like, coffee. <laughs> you can yeah, hear yeah. it. Oh, Smithy, yeah, she a real one too. So, so like, how did you? How did you? Are uh, you? You said how you met Bones. You said how you met Dennis. How did she come into like the picture? I would ride past her uh -huh. every day on Myron Road. She'd be in the middle of the street talking to herself. So like one day I just straight pulled down on her. I'm like, yo, what's going on? What's up with you? She straight say, man, nothing chilling. Drinking my coffee, looking at the clowns. That's what <laughs> And I was like, oh shit. That's crazy, man. Hop in. We got the ride and talk and this shit for real. But in the summertime, I got a video from back in the summertime. I pulled down on, get in the car, meet Juice in the car. She get Juice a kiss on the cheek, sit on Juice's lap. Juice was scared as a bitch. You feel me? Juice was scared as a motherfucker, man. So so you so you've been known her for like a while. Just, yeah, but I just never started. really brung nothing to the internet with her for real. Because some people be sentimental about their peoples, you get what I'm saying? Right. And that's another thing we got to touch up on, too, about that shit. Like. Yeah, but, all right, so so I felt like, I felt like, all right, you bought something real that highlights, you feel me, the city and what's going on. You right. posted a picture of her that didn't kind of look like her, and then you posted a picture of her being arrested. Right. Um... So so is she like a like a somebody who's known or somebody like I mean of course she a regular person but like it's just like she got into a situation and it's just like it just all went downhill. 
No, like, I think somebody laced the weed or something, to be honest. Because, like, mm. she don't smoke coke. She don't do dope or none of that shit. Like, none of them bone juice dents or none of them. None of them get high. A lot of people be having that fucked up. Like, none yeah, of them get high at all. The most they might go and do smoke a little weed. Is Dennis, he ain't smoking no weed. He's totally against drugs all the way. Like, he don't drink or nothing. Cigarettes. He a chain smoker, though, so that should be killing him. Juice, he gonna get wet if he can, but I don't let his ass when he with me. Nah, oh, shit, that's, yeah, I respect that, because you feel me trying to help him out and shit like that. So, so... Is it like, is, is she already right though? Is like everything good? Yeah, like, like, it's, like, like, it's like she got a mental issue right now. She in the sight ward though for real right now. Okay. Like she 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 ain't locked up or nothing though because I caught the Bell's mom in the other day and she had got a walk through. So I guess they probably straight a minute to the sight ward so she can get herself back together because that picture I posted, that's when she had a salon and shit. No oh, damn, see? Uh, and then the second thing, then that other picture when she got locked up, I think for breaking in somebody's car or something. So you never know, like, just because a person in a fucked up position right now, you don't know who they were. You get what I'm saying? Or where they come from. No, that definitely, that's definitely a message to anybody who, you feel me, who going to see this and stuff like that. Because I, I wouldn't have assumed that, you feel me? Right. Dennis and them are not, you feel me? With the type of city we live in, I would think they were like drug addicts or something. Yeah, but that's definitely, no, 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 That's definitely highlighting, you feel me? That everything in the city is not bad, you feel me? Right. And, that's, and you feel me? You gotta respect that. Um, so, so let's let's keep it going. Um, right now, you feel me? I just seen like a video. Do you ever like, like I like I ain't want to use fear, but do you ever like fear like some type of retaliation or anything? Because of, like for the people that might not know you, but mm -hmm. then they might come across like, oh, that's K Rock. Or they falls what like, like they like, try you, to get up on me or something. Yeah, like like I, I seen a video you filming with the fake gun. Right. Like, do you ever think like, dang? Like the nigga I pointed at, like that's my man. That's why I didn't wave it at nobody. Just pointed at my homeboy. Oh, see, yo, the <laughs> video be having so many that people really no, might the not understand. In the background, the people in the back, they don't know. Right. So like, for example, we pull out on them two right here. You gonna know? Cause I'm only gonna aim it at you, but they're gonna be so close to you. They're gonna be scared. They're gonna leave. Yeah, shit. And uh, that's, that's definitely like a, a, a scary or type thing. Like, and the people might not even realize that it's a joke. They might never in their life yeah, ever realize. Yeah, they shit. But a lot of the time, though, when that shit happened, people will get home, then see that shit, and motherfuckers get like, yo, that was my mother, that was this and third. Like, motherfuckers gonna be feeling type of way because, you know, they know I ain't here to hurt nobody, you know. That's why I'm bringing motherfuckers laughter, you know. Do you, do you feel like it was easy to... Do you feel like or it was easy for you or it was like a natural thing, do you think, for other people... Or it might, like, going from, like, the internet jokes to, like, standing in front of a bunch of people. Do you think, like, it come, it, it usually come easy or it's kind of hard? What, like, what, doing? Doing stand-up. That shit ain't hard to me, you know, as long as you can tell a story. Right. So, so let, let's let's talk about, let's let's go a little bit. Let's go a little bit behind, like, that. Where do you feel me, where did, in general... K Rock come from like what area like the city and stuff like that. I'm from East Baltimore. I'm from down the hill, you know. From like Mom from the Gallery Park. Uh huh. You no know, bunch, you know. Ran around, you know, down the hill like Glover Street. Mm -hmm. Glover, um, Gallery down to Jefferson Glover. So you know, where I come from, a lot of niggas, niggas don't play with us. You get what I'm saying? We ain't the toughest niggas, but we ain't going for nothing, you know. All right. Do do you do you like see like. Do you see it like being possible to make it as a comedian out of Baltimore? Yeah, I just gotta keep pushing. You know, oh. you know I got a lot of people that really support me. Like you know, like Will Barton, he support me. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, Wu, you know, Wu the kid, you know, niggas play niggas in the league, you know, niggas who really, you know, who really in position, you know, niggas support me. You feel me? So you know, as long as I keep pushing, I ain't saying like. They gonna put nothing. They they gonna put something behind me, no money or that. Like no, mm -hmm. that ain't the case. You get what I'm saying? Like I ain't saying they gonna do all that, but they definitely support me 100. percent You get me? Right. So so where do you see like K Rock in like the next like year? Let's let's start small. Where do you see you in like the next year? About 2020, 2021, where it come up? Where do you see that? For you? I wanna be opening up for somebody big. You know, mm -hmm. I see myself opening up for somebody big. Shit, if you could choose who that one person to open up for, Martin. Be. Martin. Or Mike Epps. Oh my God, they, they, would, would they be like your favorite comedians? Yeah, as of right now. As of right now, shit. Yeah. Did you? Could you see yourself, are uh, like a Martin, like in a movie? Do you see yeah. yourself acting? I really want to be in a movie, definitely. Yeah. 
That's like that's like one of the end goals or like yeah, cause cause I I, I can really see you in a movie cause like like you like you people laughing you feel me like in a real life even in the movie, movie like a Friday right. I can definitely see you in like a Friday. You know who else I fuck with? Though? I fuck with Dooley. Dooley, fuck with Dooley, yeah, my little man Kias, one Kyle, that's my little man, that's my son. He coming up too. So so do you like if somebody came to you and was like K Rock yo. Like, uh, like, could you write for me? Do you think you like you could write for somebody else, or like your style was strictly for you? I mean, I can write for somebody else. I'm just that they going I, I just gotta feel they style what type of shit they on. Cause the shit I be on, niggas don't be on that shit I be on, son. Right. Niggas don't be on that shit I be on. Shit. Uh, like, niggas be too. Niggas, niggas be scared. You get what I'm saying? Like, niggas be hitting me like, yo, let's make a video, this, that, and the third. A nigga, like, I don't put shit together, my nigga. However it come, that's how it's gonna come. All day I'm putting together is gonna put you right there. The rest of everything else, that's it. So, so you so you never came into a joke and was like, all right. I need everybody to act like this, act like that? Yeah. No. Everything natural. Except for the only person I told you, I need you to stand right there like this. That's the only thing I did. Like, I tell my homeboy, when I drop him out, when I let him out, I say, yo, by the time you ask some people what time it is, I'm gonna be turning the corner already. Or I'm gonna be pulling up. And that's exactly how it happened. Uh, so, so, what can the people expect from K Rock coming up? More stand up, you know, better videos. It's about time I turn my shit up a little bit more, you know. Then I got the pol like my police shit about to get back in effect for a They had hated on me with that shit. Somebody took the, took the video down to the station. Got my home, got my man Savon suspended and shit. Told me we hurt somebody, but once they realized what nobody hurt, he was off suspension and shit was back in motion. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a little lost. What police video? I, I see the woman I um, pulled up on people, got him to get in the car like I'm hacking him and shit, throw the fake gun on him. He walked straight down on him, asking who gun he was. <laughs> Yo, no, nah, I ain't never see that one. Um, oh man, I was sleep. I must have been sleeping on that video. Oh. And, and and it got it got somebody suspended, a yeah. real police officer. Yeah, hell yeah, that shit went crazy. Damn, damn, shit, that, that shit, that shit sounds funny as shit. Like, and I I can tell like you're a naturally funny guy, and you feel me, just everything just organic. You feel me? Right. Exactly. So I, I definitely I definitely hope for you feel me, you to grow and you feel me, continue to be. You feel me? Right. Do it on the next level and be safe about it. Cause that's one of the main things when it comes to like Baltimore and like, all right, like some of this don't even say you feel me safe. And you feel me? You, you definitely a good guy. You feel me? Yeah. This shit. It's DJ Chuck Spence. What's up, Baltimore?